Tanisha Stanley again. Today we're going to review the book, The Astronaut Who Painted the Moon, The True Story of Alan Bean. This book was written by Dean Robbins, and this book was illustrated by Sean Rubin. Alan Bean was born in 1932. He loved making things like airplanes, and then at the age of 19, he attended an art class. He was a great artist, and, on, and in 1963, he was chosen by NASA to go on the Apollo 12 mission. And in 1969, he became the fourth person to walk on the moon after Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and his partner Pete. I want to tell you two very odd facts about you and outer space. Did you know that an astronaut can grow up to two inches taller while in outer space? And guess what? If you were 60 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh about just 10 pounds on the moon. And you could do this, boing, and you could float in the air and then land on the moon safely and you won't fall. In 1981, Alan quit NASA to become an artist. Usually, most astronauts become either a scientist or a pilot, but Alan chose to become an artist and expressed himself with his art. Alan's paintings and skills as a scientist and an artist combine together like when you tie your shoe using the shoelaces and they put you put them together and then you tie and they stay together. And look! Something weird happened. Look, it's black and white over here, but then Alan adds it with color. It's black and white over here. Alan adds it with color in his painting. It, it doesn't look like the usual Earth, but look at Alan. He added it with color. Here's something Alan said. I think of myself not as an astronaut who paints, but as an artist who was once an astronaut. All you children, go and read this book to learn more about the history of the fourth person that walked on the moon, Alan Bean, and to learn more about his art.